not understanding white supremacy. That's the direct answer. Going back to the beginning, if you do yeah, not, going okay. back to the beginning, if you don't understand white supremacy and that they are running everything, it's not nothing that they're not running. You can't even name anything that they're not running. If if you're a black person on this planet, name something, just one thing that they don't have total control over. Mm-hmm. Economics. I don't care how pretty your money is somewhere on some, you know, somewhere, and you know, and you decide to print some money, and you're black. That money's got to be validated by the white supremacists. Otherwise, it is worthless. Now, is this true or false? That's what you always aim for. Always look for the truth, even when it hurts, because it hurts for a reason. When the truth hurts, it's to tell you that maybe there should be another truth, because truth is nothing but that which is. So truth is supposed to hurt when it's supposed to hurt, okay? So what black people have been trained to do is to avoid the truth, because it might hurt. It See, we are hurt. real sensitive about feelings. In conversations, you hear black people talk about what? Not what they think or what they have calculated, but how they feel. Okay. Oh, I just don't feel like it. You know, well, they say, but yeah, but the river is dried up. Well, I don't feel like the river needs to be dried up. Yes, sir, but the river has dried up. We're going to have to move from here and go somewhere where there is water, sir. But yeah, but I, I just don't, I've been living here all my life, and the river ain't never dried up before. And so I, I just don't feel like the river ought to dry up. That's what you call Negro logic. 